This video is part of a series. Complete the previous videos in this playlist before you start this video. The complete playlist information, the material and the code file information is given in the video description below. Most important one. Now we are getting into one is list. The other important data type is a dictionary. It's called a dictionary. Now dictionary is a totally different data type. A dictionary will have keys and values. Dictionaries are most widely used and you have to be extremely comfortable with it. And it's just a, a simple difference compared to other collection. Dictionaries have keys and values. So in a dictionary, you have two, two values which are separated by colon. Let us suppose in a list, if I have Los Angeles, Palo Alto, and then Florida. These are the three cities. How do you access LA? How do you access LA? Let us suppose this is, I would say my city. How do you access LA? I would write city zero. 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 City one will give me PA. City zero. two will give me FL. So the indexes are automatically created inside. As soon as you store them inside a list, these indexes are automatically taken care by Python. Do you agree? You are not giving these indexes. Python is taking care of these indices. Now, what if you take charge of this? What if you have customer name David? Customer name is uh, Bill Gates or Bill. Customer name is Jim. Now, if I want to access David, I would say this is a cust underscore name or cust just customers. This is my cust list. I would say cust zero. My customers are zero. That would be David. Cust one will be Bill. Cust two will be Jim. But you know what? I'm not interested in zero, one, two. I want their indices to be customer IDs. David customer ID is C001. Bill customer ID is C017. Jim customer ID is C108. David customer ID is C101. Bill customer ID is C108. Jim customer ID is C117. Now, if I want to access Zim, I don't want to access with a uh, cust because Zim can be anywhere. So if that is the case, these are called keys. These are called keys. What are these called? Associated with keys, with every key, you have a value. So key value pairs. So a dictionary is a collection of key value pairs. And if you want to access the values in a dictionary, you cannot work with indices. The concept of indices is gone in dictionary. What are the indices? If you have to compare these indices, with the usual indices, what are the indices inside the dictionary? You can call these keys as the indices. So let me define a couple of dictionaries to get a better understanding. So let us say city is equal to, now the first key is zero, second key is nine, fourth, the third key is seven. These are my keys. Now there is no concept of zero, one, two keys anymore. Zero, one, two indices are gone. If I try to see the type of city, it says it's a dictionary. Now, if I want to access LA, what is the syntax? I would write city. What is the key of LA? Zero. Okay. This works. Now, if I want to access Palo Alto, what should I write? City. Nine. Shall I write one? Does that work? No, nine. Key error one. Can somebody explain me what exactly this key error one? Very simple error. It just sold key error and it said one. What is it trying to tell us? What Python is trying to tell us? There is no such key as one. No. For example, if I am defining my customer profile or customer names. Now, if you want to store it in a dictionary, what you should give? If I just give customer names like David and uh, Bill along with him, let's say Zim. Is this sufficient? Do you think this is a dictionary? Is this a dictionary? No, sir. This is not a dictionary. No. If you are saying I have created a dictionary, I have created a dictionary just by giving values. It will not be a dictionary. Maybe it is a list or it is a tuple. Now, if you are saying I'm creating a dictionary, what do you need to give? Keys. Keys mm -hmm. as well. So let us give customer IDs as the keys or customer numbers as the keys. Now keys can be numeric keys can be string also here. I'm taking string as the customer ID. So C one zero one. Now keys and values are separated by keys and values are separated by a colon. colon. So first one, 
it's fine similarly i'll go here c103 and then i will separate them with a colon and then c105 i will separate them with a colon now check that syntax is that working fine is that all fine i have given three keys and i have given three values as well can i say this is confidently this is a dictionary let me see the type of this variable dictionary yes now let me access david can you tell me how do i access david i will write customer names zero is that going to work quick answer no sir no no now what should i write customer names c101 c101 is that going to work yes sir yes yes but no there is nothing like c101 is c101 defined no. name c101 not defined you have you have not uh, yes. run the program i have not run the program oh, okay i have run it uh -huh. mistake mera hai c101 is not defined again now c101 Imagine now tell knowledge. me what is the difference between a and a what is the difference this a is a variable whereas yes. this is a string string yes or no yes now what i have given c101 in our case is it a variable or is it a string string so what exactly is the name of the key the name of the key is this are you with me yes have you understood what we have missed yes 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 sir if i execute that is that going to work it's working now if i put a space in between is that fine no is that going to work no 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 because c10 space 5 is not same as c105 in strings isn't it so c105 now if i want to access this uh, zim the name was written wrongly it was actually tom can you tell me how do i replace zim to tom first of all i have to access zim so how do i get it how do you access zim you write customer names what should i write c105 now from zim i want to replace that with tom i will simply say that is equal to tom and if i try to execute this i'm not getting any output why because we are not printing any output shall we print the output and check right now Yes. If I now say C one zero five, what is expected output? If I try to now access C one zero five, Tom, Tom, or if I want to print the whole dictionary, the dictionary is a collection of key value pairs, key value pairs, keys and values. Now this is how I have updated the value. Now keys are almost like indices. Can we update the index? Can I try to update the key from one zero five? Now this one zero five, I want to make it as one zero nine. Can you tell me the code for it? One zero five. Are you getting what is the requirement? So right now, this is a dictionary, but that C one zero five was wrongly written. It should have been C one zero nine. I want to update it. Is it possible? Since it is a index, you can access the value using what? You can access the value using. in the dictionary you can access the value using the index but how do you access the index there is no way you can access it isn't it let us suppose if i want to replace c105 with 109 how do i access c105 for accessing tom what is your index or what is your key that you can use for accessing tom 105 for accessing bill what can you use 03. 03. for accessing david you can use c101 but for accessing c101 what do you use It's not the other way around, isn't it? We cannot use values to get the keys. Do you agree? Yes. And keys must be unique. There cannot be two keys having the same value because this is what this is. Two keys cannot be the same because this is almost like index. Then how do I find a way to find this from one zero five to one zero nine? So what you need to do is you need to delete this element first. You make this dictionary as a two element dictionary, and then you add a new key. and a new value to this dictionary so first i have to change this so i would use the function called delete customer names c105 after that if i try to print customer names customer names so it's gone c105 
is gone. Now I will add from 105, we want to update it to 109. The value is Tom again. If that is the case, you would say customer profile or customer names. C109 is Tom. Now if I try to print it again, now from 105 to 109, this is a kind of roundabout way, but you have to go through it. Why? What is the reason? Why am I deleting that first and then adding it again? The reason is, can you access the keys? If you want to access the keys, there must be an index to access it. Is there any indexing done for the keys in a dictionary? Is there any indexing done for only keys in a dictionary? Can I access a particular key in a dictionary? If I want to access a particular value, I can use this key. But if I want to access the key, I cannot use anything. That is why I have to delete it first and then add it. Now, if I want to yes. print all the keys in one go, there is a shortcut command for it. If I want to print all the keys, you write the dictionary name, which is in our case, custom names. And then you say keys. That's it. Keys is a function. If you just say keys, only keys will be printed. If I want to access all the values, can you make a guess what will be the function for it? I am interested only in the values, not the keys. Make dot a guess. Name dot values. Customer names dot values. Values. Works? Yes. It works. Keys and values. If you are iterating one by one, one by one, you want to print the keys or one by one, one by one, if you want to print the values or one by one, one by one, you want to print the keys and values then you can use a for loop for x x is a temporary value or for i in dictionary name what is the dictionary name employees print i can you understand this code what is it trying to say for i in employees and then you put a colon so for a loop you start with a colon and then you hit enter automatically there is a kind of two space one tab is given then only that will be falling inside that for loop so print i name employee id age salary so by default when i try to print i from employees even though this employee is a dictionary by default when i try to print what is being printed when i loop through what is being printed when i loop through is it printing keys or is it printing values value. tell me keys. are these keys or these values look at them keys. name Key. employee id age salary company these are all keys but keys. if i'm if i'm interested in values there is a way to get the values only let us tweak this code how do i tweak this word word tell me is there a way to get only values from this dictionary tell me what is the code for getting only values you write the dictionary name dot instead of so tell me no. how do you get only keys only values First no, all, so only keys, if I want to get, I will write employees dot keys. What does it give? All the keys. If I want to get only values, what should I write? Employee, employee dot values. Is it giving only values? Now instead of saying employee, because by default it is giving me only keys, instead of saying employee, what should I do here? For I in employee dot values. Don't take from the whole dictionary, take it from employee dot values. Now does it have any other option rather than printing the values? Is it going to print as the values now? Let us check. Tom, 1998, 76, and then 29, and then 25,000, and FB. Makes sense if you want to get only from values, only from keys. Now you can expand it. You can modify it in any way. Like, let us suppose if I want to get keys and values both. Let me show you how do I modify this. I'll write the code here. You have to understand and tell me what is the expected output. So for I in employees, for I in employees, print I is going to print all the keys. Or let me say employee.keys. So first I'll take all the keys for I in all the employee keys. Print I also print employee in the brackets i now check this understand this code when i say for i in employee keys so i is iterating over what initial value of i will be what initially in the beginning i will be taking what Easy. what will i contain it will contain name. name in the second iteration what it will contain employee id third iteration age, age. fourth iteration salary and then company so this one is understood for I in employee keys. Print I. That means it will print the key. Now when I say employee and then in the brackets I. So what it is going to print? 
So here, initially it is name, then employee name. When you say employee name, what will be printed? Tom. Whatever is the value, which is Tom. In the second iteration, it will be printing this. Have you understood the code here? What exactly it is trying to give us? Name, Tom. And then let me also say print one space. Let me give this. So what is this? This is just a kind of separator. It's in every loop after every loop. So what is the first I? So initial loop. Have you understood I has taken name? We printed I as well as employee I. Means what? Employee name, Tom. Second one is employee ID. And then whatever is the value. Keys and values. Keys and values. All of them are getting printed. Have you understood this code and its output? Is it making sense to you, all of you? So this is a way I'm trying to write. Let us suppose if I define this as the dictionary. And if I say my I is equal to employee ID. Now if I say employee is my dictionary and then I have put I. What does I contain? What does I contain here? Employee ID. Employee ID. Now can you tell me the expected output when I execute this cell? What is the expected output when I execute this cell? 19887. Makes sense. Yeah. Instead of passing directly employee ID, you are storing it in a variable and you're passing it on. Is that what we are doing here? Yes or no? <clears throat> Instead of I'm storing it in the key and I'm giving it this way. You may not be writing these type of codes ever. You may not require to write like this, but I am making you do this just to make you comfortable because directly dictionaries you will be using. These are all very primitive elements. We do not really create huge functions out of these. Like while we are writing bigger programs, we tend to take these for storing the list of values, for storing them in dictionary, for storing them as a string, accessing the front from the string. So accessing is something that you will very frequently do. Your manager will ask you, you know, get these values. Then you have to see which index you have to give, get those values. Or your manager may ask only shortlist these numbers or only get it from here to here. Slicing and dicing, accessing, maybe something that you will be frequently doing. The rest of the ones, you just need to feel comfortable. What is the difference between a list and a tuple? What is a dictionary? How a dictionary is accessed? How a list is accessed? Why a dictionary doesn't have anything like index? Because we want that flexibility. I want my own keys. I don't want Python to create its own keys. I want my keys so that I can access exactly what I'm looking for. Create the below dictionary with the three names, keys and their age values. Three names as keys and their age values. So you will be creating this as it is. You will write name, age, Stan, Kyle, and Cartman. Access age of third key. That means I want to access this. You have to write the code for it. Pretty straightforward. Append dictionary with a single key value pair called Kenny. That means I want Kenny comma nine also added here. So that means this comma. Kenny colon nine. I don't want you to redefine the dictionary. Are we, am I expecting you to rewrite this whole thing and just add Kenny comma nine? No, I want you to append at the end. So you have to find what is the syntax for appending, which was not discussed, but you can find it. Update the dictionary with a, with two values. Cartman is 11 token is 10. Again, we are trying to update Cartman value from 10 to 10 to 11. I think uh, instead of token, maybe Kyle value. Kyle from eight, you make it 10. Names underscore age is equal to Stan is eight, Kyle is uh, also eight, Cartman is 10. So if I try to print that, I'm getting a dictionary. The next one is I want to access the age value of Cartman. So how do I do it? Accessing. I'm feeling that you're already comfortable with accessing. What is it? I would say names. Name underscore age. Age. Uh, Key 10. value is Cartman. Oh, sorry, Cartman. Cartman, then you will get 10. Now I want to append. Append is something that we haven't discussed. Now I want somebody to help me with append coding. Sir, uh, names underscore age dot append. Hmm. I'm just name. guessing. Oh, just guessing. I thought you were telling me. Okay, let's let's uh, try that. Name underscore age dot append. Kenny. Let us try. Dictionary has no attribute called append. So we are gone. 
So the way to do that is you access the dictionary and then you so let us try to search for it. Append a value in a dictionary Python. Has anyone done it? Append a value in dictionary. How do you do it? So how to append a value in dictionary? Below are the three methods. Yeah, three methods. I will not show you. Tell me. I want you to do it. There are three methods for appending. In fact, I'll show you an easy method. You can write whatever you want in Google Colab as a comment. Append Kenny at the end in the dictionary. What is the dictionary name? Names underscore age. Okay. If you write like that, Kenny nine. Automatically, when you hit enter and wait for it, is it suggesting it suggested one code? Is it going to work? Let's try. Is it working? Has it worked? So this way you can write. This is only possible in Colab. If you are working on Jupyter Notebook, you'll search like this. You can use update method. You can use set default method. You can use disk constructor, or you can use multiple ways. This is the easiest one. What is it? You write the key value. You just write the key and then you assign the value. Now what I want to do is Cartman from 10. It needs to be updated to 11. Can you tell me what is the way to update the value related to Cartman from 10 to 11? That is the last part of the exercise. This you must give me. Give me the code piece in the chat window. I want to update from Cartman from 10 to 11. Give me the code piece in the chat window. I would say names underscore age. What should I do? Cartman. I will access Cartman. There is another way also Google is suggesting, but I would use this one, which is Cartman. If I access this, I will get 10. Instead of 10, I will write 11. Are you with me, everyone? Are you comfortable with this or is it confusing? Shall I go through it a couple of times more? Accessing and assigning. Accessing and assigning, isn't it? From the complexity point of view, it's not complex. Only thing is we have to be kind of writing it a couple of times to see how it is working. I have a small doubt. So single quotes are equal to double quotes. In Python, <laughs> there's no difference between single quotes. Let us suppose I say A equal to March. And I'll say B is equal to, let's say, March. If I try to print A, okay. And if I try to print a B, there's no difference, okay. The size of A, size of B, there will be no difference. The amount of time that is taken for A, the amount of time that is taken for B, there's no difference. So a, single quotes are used for... Uh, Creating a string, double quotes are used for creating a string. You can use them interchangeably. But only thing is, if you start with single quotes, you have to end with single quotes. If you start with double quotes, you have to end with double quotes. That's the only rule. Okay. So you can use either single quotes or double quotes when you are handling strings. Because sometimes there is a kind of quotation or a quote that comes in the middle of the string. Let us suppose uh, somebody told that uh, it isn't true that I want to store in a string. So I will write it like this. Let's say A is equal to this. It isn't true. That works fine. Now, can I say B is equal to it isn't true. Now, is that working? The problem is oh. this yeah. is considered yes. as a string ending, isn't it? Yes. yes. Hmm. So that is the problem that we may face sometimes. That is why particularly like if there is nothing like this, if there's nothing like this, then, then, uh, then uh, single quotes is fine. But when you are kind of like when you're doubtful that, you know what, I'm handling a lot of strings and I may get these kind of things. If you want to be on the safe side, which one do you use? Always safe side would be? Double quotes. Double quotes. Correct. But... Uh, does it make sense? Single quote, double quote are almost equal. But in some cases, your double quotes are kind of uh, useful or in the sense like uh, they will get you out of trouble. Now, coming back to the last data type, you may feel that we are learning too much of the data types. Is it really required? It's not that you have to be an expert in knowing the data types. It's that you have to be comfortable with data types. That means I'm giving you four or five important data types. If you're comfortable with them, 
later on your attitude towards the coding will change you will not be confused you will know what is a list list is the one that you will most frequently use by any chance in between tuple comes in a lot of people will panic you should not get panic because they may be seeing tuple for the first time because they have never seen tuple you will say that yeah it's just like list a little different suddenly if they see dictionary they may get panic or how do i access it or if we do not have this fundamental understanding then we may have to be searching a lot that may derail our whole understanding of the program so usually if you are good with these data structures i'm not saying that you have to learn all the data structures that are related to python i'm saying that you be good with strings 100% perfect with strings you be good with list be good with dictionary then you are through if you say and be good doesn't mean that you have to learn every aspect every function everything related to this i'm saying being comfortable comfortable means what if you get an error or if you get something that you are not aware of if you get something that we haven't discussed in the classroom are you comfortable enough to search in the internet and get the output that is sufficient continue with the next video in the playlist we are covering everything step by step if you have any questions or the comments please post them in the comments window below